a concrete road track crossing insert. Scenic details for your model roller. Hi modelers, I'm Chris the modeler at ABR Model Works. And welcome to the concrete road crossing insert video. It's part of the scenic details video series. In this video I'm going to show you the concrete inserts that I've made to make a street scene with a train running through it much easier to model. I must apologise for my croaky voice. Unfortunately, I'm still getting over the flu. First up, if you haven't subscribed, help us out by subscribing and ringing the bell. This will help to get YouTube to recommend our channel. A few months ago, I made for Bart from Dubai Trains some track inserts to make the job of making a street scene with a train running through it much easier to model. You can check out his video. There's a link in the description below. Now Bart uses code 83 Pico points, number 5. And so we've now got as a product uh, a track insert for that particular point, both left and right. And of course we've made some track inserts to give you straight and curved track uh, crossings as well. And shortly afterwards we had an inquiry from the US from a modeler wanting a track insert for a Code 83 Atlas number 6 point. And it's the Atlas track insert that I'm going to show you how to install. And although at this stage we only have a Pico number 5 and an Atlas number 6, we will add to the range and the process of installing it will be exactly the same. Okay, so first up, remove all of the pieces from the supporting frame, simply with a sharp knife. OK, so next I'm going to test fit all the pieces. OK, so that's basically how it goes. Now the side pieces will need some packers underneath them to lift them up to get them level. Um, and the um, inserts themselves will need some of the uh, packing material as well. But that all looks like it's fitting quite nicely. And, uh, and the clearances look to be about right. So. Uh, Let's start putting it together. Now these two spaces are there just to lift the insert up so that the top of the insert is just below the rail height. And what I'll be doing is just putting a dob of glue um, and uh, just holding it down for a moment while it dries and then moving on to the next spot. So, now when you drop this in, it goes up against the side of that rail and just put it so that it's nicely balanced in the center. And there we have our first piece in. So that's basically how you go about fitting it. Um, I'll uh, quickly go and do the other ones and um, and then we'll have a chalk about the outside pieces. This one just put a slight bend in it so you get a little bit of separation. Just make sure that uh, the uh, point moves freely and it's not going to catch on anything. And then just repeat the process like with the others, just put a little bit of glue on. Now you may not be able to see, but there's a little notch. Um, that notch lines up with the blade on these points. So, and then you just drop it in the center. Make sure that you've got the gap 
here right and that the point still functions correctly it shouldn't be touching should be close but not quite like the blade is not hard up against it okay now before it completely dries a bogey that I can just run backwards and forwards like this it just does the job nicely and we'll change the point Plenty here clearance. Okay, now with the outside pieces, you want to go up against the track, but you but you at the same time you don't want it to be above because when you're using a track rubber, you don't want to be scuffing up your paint. So it will go up nice and snug against there. At the same time. You know, you'll, you'll use some packers to get it level with whatever the terrain is, whether it needs to come up a little bit or, or uh, down a little bit. Um, but they just go in, and uh, on the Atlas points, they go past that little point. And then finally, this piece gets glued in like so. Um, of course, it needs a couple of spaces underneath it. But that's it, that's how you do it. It's a very quick and uh, simple process. Now one of the other things that you could do uh, before mounting them is uh, give the card a, a light spray with something like um, you know, Vallejo matte varnish uh, to seal the card. Um, and then that way with whatever acrylic paints you're going to put on, um, it won't make the cardboard swell up. Um, so it does pay to seal it beforehand. But other than that, that's, uh, it's that simple. Now we have this card that is uh, concertina cut. And the idea of it is, is that it's quite flexible. And uh, it'll allow you to go around pretty much any radius you like. As you can see when I'm cutting it, it um, comes away and it's extremely flexible. And uh, of course that's designed to sit into your straight track like so. Same thing, comes with uh, packers to bring it up to the right height. Uh, to fill the little gaps that are in this card, you can use something like uh, Model Light. Um, and just very carefully give it a bit of a sand to get it back. Or a, um, a plaster smooth coat. Don't apply too much, just put it on with your finger, build it up slowly so you don't need to do any sanding. Um, you might just give it a light little rub. Uh, you don't want to be marking the uh, tops of the rails or sanding the rails themselves. And it doesn't hurt to have it quite low, so you don't really want to track height. And then just carefully give it a coat of paint. Now another really good method for painting your road crossing is dry brushing. If you seal the cardboard first and then use a very dry dry brushing method using several different colors going over and over you're depositing very small amounts of paint in in random areas and that will give you a stippled effect which is much the way concrete or bitumen is anyway. So certainly consider doing that and have a practice with it on some scrap card. I think you'll find the results look fantastic. Now on the Fremo modular layout that I've been talking about, uh, I will be doing some street scenes myself. So we'll get into um, the full installation and painting and weathering and, and sealing etc. But this video was really just to give you the basics of what to do and, um, and show you how simple it is and how effective it is at the same time. So I hope you found the video interesting and perhaps produce a nice street scene of your own at some stage with uh, the uh, track buried into a concrete road. Now, of course it can be whatever you like, I mean paint it black or whatever it could be, bitumen concrete, makes no difference. But at the end of the day uh, that makes it a really simple process and it's not very 
um, labour intensive and it's certainly not a messy process either. Uh, lots of people try to use plasters and things like that and and uh, get it over everything. Using card is simple but uh, you just need to be a little bit careful when you're painting and weathering and like I said I'll be doing a video on that at some point fairly soon. Oh. To see more helpful modelling tips for your model railway check out the playlist scenic details for your model railway. In the meantime Subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Chris the Modeler at ABR Model Works. Have a great day modeling, and thanks for watching. Oh, and check out these videos. <laughs>